Hey Cloud Gamers and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme Channel, your destination for all things cloud gaming. Dark Alliance has landed day one on Xbox Game Pass and Game Pass Ultimate, which means it's available on xCloud as well, straight away. This game is absolutely beautiful and I'm going to show you some of the duelist class here, which is the assassin type. And you can see here it is definitely a looter. So upholding to the Dungeons and Dragons style, we're going to repeat dungeons over and over to get the best loot. And we've got all of our character stats and our weapon abilities, as well as quite a few armor slots here. There's eight in total, and you can get sets of three to eight bonuses. So you can mix and match the styles to get the best bonuses. And then we've got our map selection here. So we're going to go through and do the Icewind Dale. This is the second mission in the chain. And you have to admire the quality of the maps. I've skipped the loading here. The load times on xCloud are really slow. A minute and a half to 1 minute 45 seconds for a level load. So it does feel like it takes an age when compared to things like Stadia or GeForce Now. And even local console, the Series X blades can't come soon enough as the Series X load time is around 10 seconds. So it really does make a huge difference. But look at the quality of the maps here, it is absolutely gorgeous this game. I picked the jewel list because this is the one that's going to show up any latency for the cloud streaming more than others. And there was a noticeable bit of input lag in quite a few situations here. The Xbox One X blades here definitely struggling to push this quality and stream it at the same time. So there was a noticeable delay of a few milliseconds. And sometimes it just felt a little bit off when you were trying to do those dodge and parries. Still playable though, it was quite easy to adjust and I didn't have any issues completing this level solo with my duelist. You can see here the quality and the abilities that the duelist has make it an extremely fun class to play. I do love the ultimate ability which is this kind of shadow lion that just absolutely annihilates everybody. But because you are an up close class you do have to be careful and watch that health bar some enemies do spawn health as well as stamina and ultimate ability regen but sometimes it is hard to tell so you do need to keep an eye on that health bar otherwise as a duelist you can get caught off guard quite quickly but when you get those dodge attacks in place it does feel extremely good now after set areas you have the ability to either rest or up your loot bonus. Resting regenerates your health and your consumables, whereas upgrading your loot bonus means that you can get better loot going through. Now the maximum that I've seen this is up to 4 times loot increase, so it's definitely worth doing if you can do a single run without using all your health bars. But it does also give you the option to be able to play a bit more casually and still get through the levels if you do need that extra health. Some of the boss fights can feel like a bit of a slog but once you get used to the abilities and you can chain your attacks it does eat their health very quickly. So this is a team based game as well although you can do this all solo you can have up to three friends and do a four player co-op through every single map. So if you are wanting to play with friends you can dive in with randoms or you can pick your friends to play with and it does make for some very interesting scenarios as you can do team attacks as well. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this game, it is part of xCloud so if you are an ultimate subscriber you can hop into the cloud and start playing right now. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming and we will see you next time.